Hey guys, it's Lil Jacka. Hey guys, it's Kalsuwanna, and welcome to the second video in the Food and I Read Them series. Today, we're going to learn about the importance of offering food. Once upon a time, in the beautiful city of Madurai, lived a kind couple named Nalan and Darmasilai. They were devotees of Lord Shiva and would regularly perform Annadhanam. The word Annadhanam is made up of two other words you might be familiar with. Annam is rice, or food in general, and Dhanam means to give. In other words, it is when you offer food to the public. Coming back to the story, Nellan and Dharmasile often donated most of their harvest to devotees who rely on alms. One day, Lord Shiva wanted to test their faith and kindness. As a result, Nellan and Dharmasile experienced a poor harvest and lost all of their money. Despite the awful circumstances, they did not lose faith. They continued to pray and donate all the food they could get from their struggling harvest. Sure enough, Lord Shiva was pleased. His celestial voice thundered from the skies. My faithful devotees, go home where you will find a divine source of paddy in the shed. As long as you worship the food every day, you will never run out, and you will be able to feed the needy and yourself. They were overjoyed by Lord Shiva's words and continued to serve the public with utmost devotion. Thus, Nellan and Dharmasile lived a contented life by feeding the hungry and attained salvation at last. Since food is really important, we should offer respect whenever we are provided with it. One way we can do this is by chanting the Annapurna Sloka right before we eat. Annapurna is the goddess of food. I'll go first, and you can repeat after me with Lojaka. Annapurne Sadapurne Annapurne Sadapurne Shankara Prana Shankara Prana Vallabhe Vallabhe Jnana Vairagya Jnana Vairagya Siddhyartham Siddhyartham Bhiksham Dehi Bhiksham Dehi Cha Parvati Cha Parvati Om Annapurne Sadapurne Shankara Pranavallabhe Jnana Vairagya Siddhyartham Dhyartham Piksham Dehi Chaparvati Here are some lessons we can learn from today's story. It's important to always think about the well-being of others and give to the needy. Hence, Annadhanam is one of the best services we can do because it makes people content. Always stay persistent and have faith even in hardships. Thinking back to the story, even though Nullan and Dharmasila were in dire poverty, they still had hope and continued offering food to the public. We hope you guys learned something new. Thanks for watching everyone!